Hey guys, welcome back to Little Mitch Stitches. My name is Stephanie and today we are going to clean my spinning wheel for the first time in ever. My wheel is a shacked ladybug and I got her in 2012, brand new, and I have never done any kind of major maintenance to her. I've oiled her as I've used her, but I've never taken things apart and really cleaned her thoroughly or oiled her. So today's gonna be a first. For all of us <laughs> let's take a nice close look at her she has definitely changed color over time the i think they're made out of plywood the ladybugs they are one of the most inexpensive wheels that shacked makes um, i have just the normal flyer and regular pieces i didn't get any extra accessories my drive band is right here i I'm very good about storing it not on the wheel so that doesn't stretch out. We've got my brake band, looks to be pretty good still. I've got my little basket of tools here. Uh, I had picked that up at Michael's a few years, well, probably around the time I got her. And every ladybug comes with an actual little ladybug on her. There's mine. And I don't know if you can even tell in the video, but she is very dusty. Here is the back side of the wheel, and you can see right here LB051812. That is her serial number, Ladybug, May 15th, 2012. I was all excited to find out that she had my brother's birth date, and then she's actually got Benji's birthday too and 2,765, I think, is the amount of ladybugs that were made at that point. So this was the 2,765th made. You can see I don't really have any scuff marks or anything on the treadles. Um, I've always used my wheel either barefoot or in just socks. But one thing I definitely need to fix is, there's one foot the other one's missing i actually have it but i have to get the part that holds it in i think i lost that part back in april i went to the long island spinning study group meeting um, they are the local spinning guild and uh, a woman named michelle who is very knowledgeable uh, did a program on cleaning your reel which when I was a member of the Spinning Guild, that's I had asked for that so many times that I was like, I don't know how to clean my wheel. I need a program on this. And we never did it, but finally we did one. And so I took notes through her whole thing and she had um, a shacked matchless, which is basically the same thing as this, uh, the ladybug, the same setup except that it's made with nicer materials. So this is the inexpensive version. Hers is the more investment version, which um, these are still an investment. When I bought mine, I want to say it was around $600. I also bought two extra bobbins to go with it. But uh, I know the price has gone up since then because this one is nine years old. She's nine years old and has never had a bath. I'm sorry, there's probably going to be humming through most of the rest of this video because my neighbor is running some sort of equipment for the past couple days. I thought I had a clear window to do it, but it turns out they turned it back on. And <laughs> I have to use this window to get this done because Benji's napping and Kyle has jacked out of the house. So here we go. Anyway, this style wheel is called a castle wheel where the orifice right here is above the drive wheel right here. More traditional styles that you commonly think of if you're not a spinner is where the wheel is on one side and the orifice is on the other right next to each other. Um, this one is an upright castle style wheel. I had got this one because it was a little bit more condensed than the traditional style. I didn't really have room for the traditional style at the time, and those are more expensive. And I was working on a budget at the time and probably shouldn't have been buying a spinning wheel at all. But I did search for months for a used one, but none came up in my area. And even the ones that did come up, 
that I saw on Ravelry groups, they went like that. Because this is a great introductory wheel. It's very easy to use. I really haven't used too many other wheels, so I can't really compare it to others, but I really like the style and found it really easy to use. My wheel is a double treadle, so the feet go opposite each other, as opposed to both feet going up and down at the same time, or just one foot going. What else can I tell you about my, my lovely here? I have, it comes with two different whirls. So the whirl, the whirl is this part here that this black band would sit on. It goes around the whirl and around the drive wheel. So the treadles make this wheel go and this wheel turns this. So the hooks here on the, this part's called the flyer. The hooks are where the yarn goes that you've spun after it comes out of, goes in a little hole here and out of here. So sitting in front of it, you would hold the fluff right here. So this is the single ply that I have spun last on here. So what I'm going to be doing to clean the wheel is first basically taking off anything extra. So my, my, um, drive band is going to come off. My flyer is going to come off. I don't know if the orifice part is going to come off or not because I've never, I probably can unscrew it and take it completely off and that would probably be better. My basket is going to come off. Um, and I think my brake spring and cords here are going to come off and that's everything that's going to come off. And then I'm going to wipe it down with some microfiber cloths clean it and then oil it here we go these are my pieces of cleaning equipment first off i found my little foot adjustable foot for my wheel that has to be part partially fixed i'm going to put that in my basket before i lose it next we have a microfiber cloth for wiping down the wheel for all the dust and dirt and cat hair all over it. This is actually a cloth diaper insert. We cloth diapered our kids and um, Benji's still in diapers, but we have tons of these inserts and people say they're great for cleaning. I mean, they are just padded microfiber. So we're going to try it out. I have a pile of them that we're not using and we'll see how those work. So we've got that. Oop. We've got Murphy oil cleaning spray soap, something along those lines. Um, I opted for the spray bottle versus the um, big jug of it because I really don't think I'll be using too much of this. Look at this, is it leaked. I dropped it getting it out of the car the other day. <laughs> there we go. That's gonna wipe that up. So this is for, um, I know a lot of people use this for cleaning wood. I've never used it before, but I got the little spray bottle because I don't have to worry about diluting it or proportions. It's all set and ready to go. I just spray it on and have at it. If I hadn't broken the top, it would have been better. I've got some screwdrivers to take apart anything I need to. This is the container that came with my wheel for spinning wheel oil. It's also the same thing as sewing machine oil, but it's also refilled with a 20 or 30 weight motor oil. So yes, pretty much the same thing as you put in your car. You put on your spinning wheel to oil the parts. So I'm gonna be calling my dad to see if he has any of that because this is empty. And the last thing I'm doing to finish off this project is wiping my wheel, all the wood down with Danish oil, which is what Schacht recommends using. My friend Michelle had used tongue oil, T-U-N-G, which I'd never heard of before. Not that I've heard of Danish oil either, but she used the tongue oil because um, she said it was less flammable and did the same job. When I went to Home Depot the other day, they did not have it. And this was the only, this was the lightest color oil they had. They had a darker one, but they didn't have a light one. So I went with this. I figured it was close enough. Um, and we'll see what happens. I hear that these wheels, when you clean them, like to soak up a lot of oil. So we'll see how it goes. And the last tool that we have 
that is absolutely necessary is my coffee with a happy little tea lid on it which is supposed to keep your tea warm and hold your tea bag but for me it's keeping out the bugs and the dirt and debris outside now they freaking turn off that thing oh, these neighbors Look at that discoloration. That's where my orifice sat. That's what it looked like when I got it. That's what it looks like now. Holy smokes.
When cleaning the whirl, we are not cleaning in the grooves because we don't want to affect any of the grip factor, basically, for the drive band. Just on the outsides. Holding this, I feel like a Ninja Turtle. I don't know which one had this weapon or what it was called, but it reminds me of that. <laughs> Okay, all of the cleaning is done, and now it is time to oil this thing.
All right, that's it, she's done. She is much darker looking than she normally is. I don't know if that's the coloring in the oil or if it's just because she's still all wet and hasn't absorbed the oil, but I don't care. I think she looks great. She's looking beautiful. And now I am going to leave her outside until I go to bed, basically. And then I'll bring her in the house and then probably put her back out in the morning. Uh, sunlight though. Ah, uh, we'll see, we'll see what happens. But let her sit for her 24 hours and then, I don't know, maybe I'll do something crazy and spin a little bit. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching. If I did anything wrong or there's something else I should know, let me know in the comments because I I have no clue what I'm doing. <laughs> it's the first time I've done it. Um, yeah, and uh, looks like we're getting closer to being ready to tour for Tour de Fleece. If you have ever cleaned your wheel, let me know. Let me, how, let me know how it's gone, and let me know if you're going to clean your wheel soon. I was just thinking I should probably do my drop spindle too, but there's fiber on that, and I'll probably wait until after that's been cleared off but I'm excited because I've always wanted to really take care of my wheel and never do how so now now she's looking so good I can't stop looking at this color it's just so different thanks for doing this with me you guys and now I have to go figure out what I'm gonna spin we shall see. See you next time. Bye. Of course, I just stopped recording right there. Took my camera off of the tripod. Oh, there it goes again. Never mind. I've been hearing this humming noise for days now. Help. <laughs>